so we are back for episode three of the circle this is season three so um there wasn't a, a lot didn't happen this episode but still some stuff to note so we know that um the the real michelle is now gone because blue michelle who are the catfishes played by ava and chanel um were able to convince everyone that she was not the that she that the catfish were able to trick everyone into believing that they were the real Michelle. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last in the last review for episode two, but the real Michelle does go to meet the catfish and she lets them know that like K is someone to be trusted, um, because she has a really good vibe and like just a good personality and good kind of aura to where she seems very genuine and direct. And that Daniel is someone to keep uh, keep an eye out for because he blatantly lied to her. So the next morning, um, you can see that some of the cast members are kind of wondering if they made the right decision. So you see Daniel for sure wondering if they kept the correct person, if they didn't keep the right Michelle. And it's like, well... You blatantly said you believed Orange Michelle, the real one, and then voted against her. And I think Daniel just did that to kind of be a follower and go ahead with what everyone else was thinking because they, because they, um, were kind of telling him that they thought she was. So we have two new visitors, visitors, we have two new members of the circle. So we have Sophia who is playing her older sister, Isabella, so another catfish. Um, and Sophia is saying that because, I guess she thinks that her sister's prettier than her. So she's saying with her sister's beauty and with her brains, they, you know, she's a shoe in to win the game. Then we have Jackson, who is being played by Rachel. So Jackson is her best friend's boyfriend. That seems messy to me. But she's catfishing as him because she thinks that guys have an easier time on social media than girls do. So they um they join the circle immediately as always. Kay and Calvin are like super welcoming and talking to them off front. And it just kind of, I think Kay and Calvin have really set the tone for themselves as being just super, super like personable. Right, because I feel like whenever someone new starts um, the chat or whenever they have the open circles, they're always the first two to like say stuff. They, they're always welcoming other people to the group. Like they just really have like a dope aura about them. So Jackson and Kay have a private chat. So um, Jackson and Rachel. So I'm probably refer to refer to them as Jackson and Rachel. They have a chat with Kay and they're they're flirting to try to build that type of alliance. I I guess if I was on the show, I don't know if I would believe anybody that's trying to flirt. And I kind of feel like you're applying for this show because you have watched the show before, right? So I I think it'd be hard pressed for someone to apply for this show that hasn't seen it before. So you know the twists and turns. You know all the different scenarios and stuff that could possibly happen. So it's just kind of weird to me when they're just so smitten by somebody like so soon and suddenly on the show. But maybe that's just the ta tactic as well. So Jackson and Kay have this conversation. Um, they're flirting. They find out they have some some things in common. And I think Kay is playing it the best. Like, she is keeping everyone at bay for the for the most part. And even though she sent Ava and Chanel home, the fact that Michelle told them to trust her, I think is going to carry her a long way. So, Jackson... Um, I did laugh at Rachel, Jackson Rachel, saying that she's not really prepared to talk like a guy. And I guess I don't understand why they catfish as the opposite sex. 
right? It's one thing. So it's one thing for Sophia to catfish as her older sister because you're still catfishing as a woman. You know your sister well enough that I guess I guess it doesn't even really matter how the personality is because they don't know your sister. But it's always weird to me when you when people catfish as the opposite sex and then they get into these situations where they have to do something or talk about something that the opposite sex would know and they can't do it. Um, and I think we saw that the best last season when Jack was catfishing as I think it was Emily and he did not know how to apply makeup. And that was when he kind of got found out that he was a catfish. Um, so Calvin and Roxana have a private chat because they, they post flashback pictures of them. And Roxana, or throwback pictures. And for Roxana's picture, she chose to do a full body picture because she wanted to let them know that she is a little person um, because she didn't want to like hide that or make it seem like she was hiding that for whatever reason. I kind of feel like when you're looking at her selfie, like just her her headshot, she kind of, you know, they, they have features where you can tell that they are a little person. So I don't I don't know why everybody was so, so confused, but it could be because we saw her full body already that we already knew. So, but I just, I don't think I would have been as, as shocked or surprised as some of them, some of them were. But during that private, uh, during that big group chat, when everyone was talking about the throwback pictures, everybody was super supportive of her. Um, Happy to see that, you know, she, she was brave enough. If you can call it brave, she like owns herself and she did post that picture because like her personality is dope. She's a pretty lady. Like there's no reason for her to like hide that part of her. So Calvin and Roxana have a private chat because Calvin wants to let her know that he really liked the fact that she like, you know, stood up for herself. Like it's dope that you... And I don't want to say stood up for yourself, but he was like, it's just dope that you, you know, kind of bared all, with, bared all with us. Because there are some people that would have hit that. But she was like, nope, this is me. I'm badass. Take it or leave it. So right now I am pulling for Roxana or K to win. I think they have the best personality so far. They're not over the top when they are like in their rooms, in their apartments and stuff. And I know that these people have to be kind of over the top and I know that they want them to do all the dancing and all that extra stuff. But I like the fact that they aren't like annoying with it, if that makes sense. So Ava and Chanel's money dresses. I don't like them. I don't like them. And it's really just because of how they were acting when they lost in their video. I honestly think that Ava would have done better by herself. Chanel seems bitchy. And I think it's really Chanel. I don't think the problem is really Ava per se. I think the problem is Chanel. Um, so finally they play a game where the, the two new people, Jackson and Isabella, are a, have to answer some questions. And based on the questions they would get that determines how many invitations that they get to a VIP party. So the questions were like, what movie is this from? It was the Titanic. Um, another one was who was Katy Perry married to? And I believe the final one was, what was Harry Potter's sword or first dragon or something? I'm not a, uh, a Harry Potter person. <laughs> so I definitely wouldn't have known that. But they each got the last one wrong, so they only got two invites apiece. So Jackson picked Nick and Michelle. Michelle. Um, and then Isabella picked Kay and Ashley. And I feel like when you do, I feel like when you're strategizing with these things, when you are doing these as a newbie, it's damned if you do damned if you don't because they don't know anybody's dynamic right so i thought it was weird that jackson picked michelle because why would you pick that old lady to come to your party <laughs> like why would you why would that be where you were whatever um isabella i think is gonna have the best strategy to be honest she picked Kay, who is was the top influencer 
and then Ashley, who I feel like we don't see her talk to anybody. We don't see Daniel talk to anybody. Daniel continues to get on my nerves with his over the topness. He continues to get on my nerves. I can't be the only one that feels this way. Like, ah! All right, I'll check y'all later for episode four.